Naghahanda ang Pilipinas sa panibagong misyon Inutusan na kasi ni BBM ang Pilipinas Walang aalis kahit makipag tayo doon Ayon kay Vice Admiral Alberto Carlos, AFP Western Command Ito lang ang nakikita ng Pilipinas na magiging solusyon Na kapag binomba dapat PCG ng China Ay gumanti rin dapat tayo ng kanyon Hindi yung puro tayo ang nasasaktan Saktan din natin sila ngayon Okay naman yung mga tropa uh, Pagdating dito Nilamit sa hospital Dines na uh, chinakap sila Yung isang sugat Medyo malayan kaya tinahe Pero yung iba naman Dressing and uh, bandage lang uh, Open sila Sinisigurado namin Na hindi titigil ang pagdating Ng uh, kailangan mga pagkain To be fuel And other basic necessities to Sa mga tropa kasi ang uh, order, order sa atin ng Pangulo is uh, we stay there, we are Pinisera Madre must stay, will stay in uh, Ayun Shoal di yun naalisin pero pagbabanta sa China ng Philippine Navy walang pag-aalis sa barkong magaganap sa Ayungin Man o West Philippine Sea kaya kung Chino hindi nila ito matatanggap abadigirahin na lang sila ng Philippine Navy Ayungin Shoal and Baho di Masindo have been declared as red lines There will be no building or reclamation on Bajo de Masindo. There will be no removing of LST 57 from Ayumin Shoal. These have been declared by the previous administration that these are red lines for the Philippines. Pero babala sa Pilipinas ng US Maritime Expert, magready tayo dito sa Pilipinas dahil pag napaya ang China gagamit sila dito ng power. Pero basta hindi raw tayo ang mauuna ang Pilipinas, tutulong daw ang US ayon kay Powell. risk during this time. China's basic strategy with these kinds of things is to try to out-escalate you. And so what they want is they want to convince the Philippines that it is willing to escalate beyond what the Philippines can bear. And so far the Philippines has held up under the strain. But, you know, should the should China eventually get the Philippines to crack? That would sort of signal to China that it has won and it can continue to use these tactics. So, you know, the Philippines clearly needs the support of the world, the, uh, the, the community that respects and uh, depends upon the rules-based order. And is, it, is, it is highly incumbent upon us in the United States as the Philippines you know, treaty ally, as well as others, to make sure that China understands that it's going to start incurring real costs if it continues to, to act like this. Well, I think that really what the Philippines needs to do is to really begin to r rally international support beyond what we've seen so far, right? So statements of support are good. Statements condemning China's actions are also good. But really, I, we've gotten to the point where we, you know, we can't simply sit back as an international community, community and say, this is fine. Uh, we're like uh, the, the dog in the cartoon where the house is on fire. Uh, the, these, this uh, blockade that's been put in place by China is the only thing like it on the planet, as far as I can tell, where a one large country is blockading the military outpost of a smaller neighbor with, uh, you know, during peacetime with apparently mostly absolute immunity. Well, the Philippines is doing something very admirable right now, which is holding China accountable, at least on the international stage. It's very uh, laudable that the Philippines has bravely gone out and released all of these pictures and all of this evidence and refused to back down. Uh, and it's, I mean, it's getting to the point where, you know, the international community can, it really can't any longer pretend that it doesn't see. So, I mean, I think that the Philippines is in for a long struggle, but I think that there are seeds being sown that, that could lead the Philippines to be able to start making gains over the long term and being able to sort of put itself in a better negotiating pos position because China simply ha will have to start dealing with all of the, the, the reputational damage that it's incurring. It, it, this is really hard, right? Because when, they, when the Philippine Coast Guard goes out to these places, it tends to you know, bring a bullhorn, tell the ships to leave, and the ships simply sit there. They, the crew rarely comes on deck. Um, and because they're wrapped it together, it's not, it's not like the, the, the Philippines is able to just push them out. So the best thing I think the Philippines can do uh, at the time is to make sure that one, everybody is aware of their presence and, and two, what the Chinese strategy is and why this is a problem. Ngayon ikaw, bilang Pilipino, ano ang masasabi mo at reaksyon sa balitang ito? Mag-iwang ka ng komento sa ibaba at atin pong babasahin isa-isa.